Hello and welcome back to RLCS Recap with your host Marky Tubal. Today we're going over more action from the World Championships that happened this past weekend. Today we're going over the group stage when we have the eight teams that made it out of the switch stage going into two groups, Group A and Group B, to see which teams will compete and make it through a double elimination bracket to go to the playoffs the, in, on Sunday, which team is going to come home as world champions. As we get into Group A action, we have Endpoint versus SMPR, two European teams going at it head-to-head -head and couldn't get, be cleared, so Endpoint will take advantage of that and give themselves a 1-0 lead as the game draws to an end. There is some late action as SMPR applying the pressure. Exotic with a nice pass, but it's cut out just in time by Relating Wave and will give Endpoint a 2-0 lead as time is ticking and there it goes and SMPR will lose the first game and Endpoint will take the victory in this one as they do all the games for this group stage is double elimination and best of seven so still a lot of action left to be played as right off the kickoff of the second game we have SMPR coming down the field can he hit the off the back wall yes he can and right off the next kickoff Archie trying to come back straight away and endpoint do tie it up immediately that's got to be some good confidence boost to get go down a goal and come right back can trust that get to it with a flipper set gets over one can't beat the second defender though but his teammate can and he will come down oh off the crossbar and it is put in by Charles said who started the play off by himself and SMPR take a two to one lead this ball is dumped down to have field Laying the wave will keep the pressure on Cassio over to his left got his teammates there Charles that by one off the sidewall to the back wall Try to play into the middle. It's able to get so, and will find the corner. And that is a 3-1 lead to SMPR. They're looking for their first win in the Group A stage. Upper bracket. And the ball will be with a nice bump. Gets put into a dangerous place. And we finish off by endpoints. They are looking for the comeback here with only 30 seconds remaining. Really in a wave. Place one in, and it's forced home as we are already into overtime and the pressure is on by SMPR. Try not to lose this lead that they once had. And demo comes through, can't quite get it, and it's deflected, oh, and it goes in. Goalie dodged the demo, couldn't save the ball though. Unfortunate. And SMPR do tie it up as the demo comes through, but the shot goes on from Exotic. He gets demoed as he's hitting the ball and goes through the defender right by him and will give SMPR their lead in game number three as they still apply pressure with Zotic and another demo comes through Cassio off the sidewall but they can't clear it and it's two nothing to SMPR as the ball is in their corner for change and endpoint trying to apply the pressure but it's coming straight back down ball pops out and we'll put that straight on target and catch the third man cheating a little bit too high up and put it by him does Archie and cuts this lead into one this ball around SMPR's half yet again laid up to the ceiling it looks like a triple commit come down oh and metasaurus i believe that was it beats all three players to the ball and we go into overtime yet again for the second time is four minutes on the clock exotic looking for the double touch can he find it yes he can find it and smpr turn this series around on its head for their second win in a row looking to make it number three as the ball is Dropped in front of their own net, and Endpoint will take that one. And right still in the beginning of the game, though, lots of time left for SMPR to come back. As they've done. It's Metasaurus to dump it down. Clear it out. Alina Wave trying to find his teammate, and he's able to find Archie, and we'll put that away. 2 0. Ball pinched on the ground towards the net. Pops up to Chusset, who plays that slightly, just a little bit over to Cassio, and he's able to find it will give them their first goal in game number four and a demo comes through played it into the corner though archie up to relating wave can he beat oh somebody the person who just spawned and comes through and cassio will put it back as we are into overtime yet again for the third straight game in a row of the four games we played a minute on the clock to the corner archie up in the air 
tries to demo, can't quite do it. And Metastars, oh, when he misses it, that's going to be unlucky for the endpoint player. And SMPR on match point here. So, chance for endpoint to come back, though. Ball played out. Oh, and it's blocked from Cassio. Can he make a second save? No, he can't. Both players. This team are going up the field. Ball get, beats them. Cassio stuck on the line. Can only make one save. Need to make another one. Push it out to the side. Archie trying to air dribble this past the defender and is able to put it off the crossbar. And teammate comes in for the cleanup. Zen point. Starting off strong in game number five. Cassio to the corner and he's able to be flicked in right on the goal line. So you like to see it's two players in the corner. Able to get enough touch to it, but a Rillian Wave is waiting there for it. And he's going to leave it for Archie, I believe that was, and it makes it 3 1 game just like that. Turns into two goal lead again. Three becomes four right off the corner. SMPR need to do something now with only 30 seconds remaining. Metasaurus up in the air. Cleared away. Exotic. He wins the 50 to Chaucet. Can he dunk it in? Yes, he can. Beats the defender. And then a shot and right off the kickoff. Archie saves it off the goal line. But is there another player there? Yes, there is from SMPR. And game number six, we are a go as endpoint. Do hold on to win game number five. Right off the kickoff. Backflip to Verlaine Wave. Off the back wall and is able to find the double touch. Nice play from him as he's really starting to come alive these last couple games for endpoint right when they need him to. The World Championships. What better time to set it afire. Set it ablaze. As a tying goal comes through though from SNPR and a nice little fake will give them the lead just like that and Rocket League sometimes it can be so cruel with about five seconds in in game and you're down when you were up. Archie plays into the middle. Really wave. Yes, he is going to find that shot. As now it's twos apiece. Flip reset. Trying to get it blocked away. Archie, can he beat the man? Yes, he can. Metasaurus trying to hit it yet again. Got him over boost though. Exotic played to the middle, but related wave sees and cuts out the pass and will give them a lead. With 30 seconds remaining, right off the kickoff, can Metasaurus put another one in? Yes, he can, and a nail in the coffin. Will that be as endpoint in SMPR game at number 7? And right off the kickoff, saved on the goal line. Can he save it again? No, he cannot as SMPR. 1-0 lead, 30, 3.30 remaining. Endpoint definitely going to need a score here. They don't want to be in the lower semifinals or the lower bracket. You go into the lower quarterfinals. Sorry. And SMPR make it a two goal game. Still about half the time left. And SMPR, oh, are just firing at all cylinders in this last game. So they've been one in two games, but they are looking quite good now. And their ball almost in their own net. And they're going the other way already. And they beat all the players. That's going to be four and nothing as this game looks all but over. There's only 30 seconds left. Very hard to see endpoint coming back now. So SMPR will surely be moving on to the upper semifinals endpoint are able to get one back with 21 seconds remaining SMPR just happy to waste some time here push it into the corner oh it's popped back out into the middle and Cassie will make that and here's the other results as moist beat SSG BDS beat Renegades and version 1 at 4-0 NRG as we move on to the Lower bracket, we are looking at the upper semifinals in Moist 4-0, SMPR, and BDS 4-0 version 1. And we are into NRG vs. Renegades, the team from Oceania vs. the NA boys. Will be a 1-0 game in game number 2 already as NRG win the first game with only one singular goal scored. First goal going in for Renegades in the series right now in game number 2. As we just saw, and a nice bump comes through as Justin does need. Need to do anything else but put that ball on target, and he does exactly that. So now it's about halfway through the game. Still tied at one apiece, and Squishy beats him in the corner. Another person misses the ball, and Garrett G will put it away as Justin beats the man on the goal line. And a nice demo avoid will go the opposite way, just like that. Makes it 3-1 to energy. Ball in the midfield. 
Justin beats CJ. CJ to the ball. And Squishy is there. We'll find the angle. And that is 4-1 with a minute 20. Renegade's really going to need something here. The ball popped out. It's still in the offense continues for energy. As Cammy's trying to get something going the other way. Hits it into the middle. A little bit back behind his teammates though. Fever trying to get to it. Gets cut out by Garrett G. Can't beat CJ. CJ to the ball. But another energy player is there. And it will put it into Squishy and can't be saved off the goal line. Just delays it and energy with a 2-0 lead so far in this series. Ball popped out. Played down into the energy half. Stopped on the half halfway line. Garrett G bumped in the air. And that will be a goal for Renegades to start this one off. And a nice read from CJ. CJ on the ceiling. It's played down. And a 50 goes towards energy's half. And CJ. CJ with some time and space in the middle of the field. Puts into the corner. And the angle's not red. And Fever's there for the put away. And that will be all for game number three. As Renegades get the first win on the board. Something to hold on to now. Build from. It's Justin in the corner. Can't quite read it. And a nice pinch on the ground pass to his teammate. I don't even know who passed that, but that was a very nice pass from the Renegade team to punch that on the ground directly to his teammate all the way across the net, across the 18. And Renegades will make that 2 0. It's Gergi on the back wall now trying to find his teammate. Played over into the Renegades' other half now. Comes down Garrett G. Oh, and a little bit of moose communication, you feel. But a demo comes through, and Justin's not going to be able to make it there. And it goes off the back wall and played just barely. And Cammy's able to capitalize on that with his teammates' touch. Makes it a 3 0 game as energy. Looking like they're going to lose a second straight game. With a demo coming through, though, and that's just a one on one. And Justin misses it. Well, it goes off the crossbar. Didn't exactly miss off the 50, but it's going to be scored regardless. Only a minute remaining. Energy needs something. That ball's played on. CJ, CJ couldn't exactly clear it very far. Justin to the ceiling. Plays it down to himself. Plays it off the crossbar and misses again. As Garrett G will have the put away though. And now we're into game number five. And the ball will just roll in for Cammy as Renegades take a 1-0 lead. Garrett squishy. Dribbling the ball. Goes underneath the defender. Oh, goes over to Garrett G, who was just driving away to get, probably go get some more boost because he didn't want to demo as the player already came towards Squishy. But that is a lucky deflection, you should say, as he's always around the net. Backs flipped into it, and Squishy will just gladly take that goal with only 30 seconds left, and that will be the last goal of game number five. Straight, straight to the start of game number six, and Justin makes it a 1 0 game right away. Trying to set the tone to get this series over with in game number six. Not No need for game number seven. Energy boys want to do that quickly as they get beat on the counter very quickly. Fever will gladly take that one. It's ones. This ball played into the middle. Justin blocks that out. One on one. Fever and saved it. No, it's off the crossbar and in. Couldn't quite get all of the ball needed. That is a 2-1 game. Only minute 45 remaining. Justin to the ceiling. So he's going to go challenge him. And he can't quite beat him as Energy beat Renegades 4-2. And Space Station will beat Endpoint 4-0. And Renegades and Endpoint will bow out of the tournament at this point. And version 1 versus SSG in the lower bracket semifinals. We're going to be taking a look at now. As you only needed, since it was a double elimination, you only needed to win two games. We already looked at the Moist versus SMPR, Moist 1, and BDS beat version 1. As now we have version 1 versus Space Station and SMPR going up against NRG in the other side of this bracket. And version 1 already with a 1 0 lead. And a nice deflection from Beast Mode right in front of Rettles to make that 2 0. Daniel trying to make a comeback and a nice save. Two players there, make sure that they're going to get that ball clear. Now they're going the other way. Arsenal does beat Beast Mode to it. Tournament played off the sidewall. Can't come back to it. Oh, deflects in from Daniel. A little bit unfortunate for version one, but that's the way it bounces sometimes. Arsenal looking to try and make that 2 2 right away. Can't quite find it. Into the corner we go. Arsenal looking for the demo. But Beast Mode gets to it. Another demo on the backside will open up that, and version one will take the victory. He's only 14 seconds left in this game number two. We're looking for the first goal, or else can't quite find it. And Beast Mode beats one player. They have the 
the skill. Yes, he does, as he beats the second and last defender on the line. And that's a 1 0 win for version 1. The last couple seconds has got to feel good. And now they're just rolling, it seems. And with another goal on the horizon, game number three. SSG trying to come back with Reddles with a nice demo and can't quite find it with a nice save too. This is Daniel playing goalie. Still in their corner. The ball is played out. No one's there. And a demo trying to come through. Beastman's going to have to try to save and he gets demoed. Trying to do a little fake out instead of going up through the back of the net. He tried to jump on the top of the back of the net. Come down right in the front on the bottom. Tried to sneak it through. Space Station couldn't quite get it. Space Station do turn around this game and make it a 3-1 win. And do get their first win on the board as we are into game number four. Right at the beginning. And the ball pops out to Daniel. And that will be the one goal in game number four. As we are into game number five already with 2-2. Space Station win the last two games. But a demo comes through and Beastman was able to capitalize. one nothing. Minute 14 remaining in this game. It's all played out, and Daniel's coming in hot, going the wrong way. He gets bumped in midair. Teammates had to dodge him. Reddles going the other way. Tries to find Arsenal. Yes, he does, and puts it in the top right corner with a nice passing play from SSG. Only 40 seconds remaining. Reddles with a 50 into the middle. Arsenal comes over. Wins another one. Waiting for his... Daniel to come. Can't quite get it off to the back wall. And yes, he's able to find the double touch as game number six goes to version one. With 4.30 remaining, and version one will take the lead. So it's now ones apiece. Rettles on his back wall got a lot of boost. Plays it over. Leaves it for Arsenal. Arsenal misses it. Rettles into the corner. We'll pinch that out back into the middle. And that's there for Daniel. He's able to put it low as the goalie was in. The net, he's maybe thinking that one of the SSG guys is going to come in and try to demo him. Did not happen though, but it was a nice idea. Their defense is ball played over the half field white line. Torment pinches that into the corner. Reddles trying to read it, jumps in the air, ball's floating dangerously, and Reddles gets saved off the line by two of them, but it's danger still there. And version one will take a 4 2 win, and so energy will beat SMPR 4 to 1 as we are into group. Number group letter B in the upper bracket as the qualified teams are Moist Esports, Team BDS Version 1, and NRG. So we are looking at Falcons versus Dignitas in this upper bracket quarter finals. Dignitas had a 2 0 lead and a trick trying to find that hole on the right side of the goal. Can't quite do it and already going the other way is Dignitas and saved off the line. No, it is not as yours. Is able to slip that one in. 3 0 now. 40 seconds remaining. Falcons looking for their first goal. It's the only team from Mena still here. Ball played out the halfway line. Stigatos did win game number one. Let's see if Falcons can come back here. It's trick. Hold reset. Waiting. Goes underneath the one. Goes underneath two. Makes it look very, very easy. So calm, cool, and collected on that one. Around half time, halfway in game number two, Trick will play that deep. And oh, the players hit each other and Dignitas and will give Falcons a goal as that was already on target. I don't know if it needed more help, probably. And Trick will make it a 3 nothing game very quickly. 20 seconds remaining. It looks like this is all wrapped up for the Falcons as O'Kelled going to the sidewall. Leaves it for Ahmed. He's got it barred down and in. And for Falcons take a 4 nothing victory. Tie the series up. Get some momentum going. Dignitas on the side wall. Yorez gets cut out by Ahmed. And apparently Jack, oh, and he leaves it. And he tried to go around, back, turn around, go into the other corner. But Ahmed's just too quick. He's able to catch up to it and put in the goal. Unlucky there. He thought he had more time, but he did not. Ball played out in front. And Scrupular off the post and off the other post. And then Stigmatas will tie up the series. Tie up the game. Apparently Jack plays that on target, and yes, he beats both players with a nice effort from him. And we are into game number four now. So he goes underneath one, ball still bouncing around everywhere. Scrub Killer comes a little bit too far up, and no one's going to be able to rotate fast enough to get that. He gets baited a little bit, thinking he can get to the ball before any of the Falcons players do. 
but they he gets one right back for Jason Thompson. We are on to overtime and 345 already gone. Ahmed in the corner trying to tie us up for Falcons. Plays over to his teammate and trick. And yes, the defender can't get to it. He will find that. Falcons with one goal straight away off game number five. And the ball played dangerously into Dignitas's half again. Shrek up to the ceiling. Does he have a flipper set? Oh, hits the post. But the ball is still there for Ocalet. And he's able to find it 2 nothing already to the Falcons. They're making quick work in this game, it seems. So they are trying to get the third victory. So the series is tied at twos. Apparently Jack couldn't quite get to it. Scrub killer. Bounce it down underneath him. Oh, and it goes from Ahmed right on top of him. Gives Falcons the 3-0 win right here. Game number six. Zigotash trying to find something here, trying to pass play out, but lose the ball. Ahmed to trick. Leaves it up in there. No one's challenging Ahmed, and he's able to just go for it, and he's going to make that come true with a goal. The ball played out still out in front of the 18. Falcons make that a 2-0 game very, very quickly. Still a lot of time left in this game for Dignitas to come back. Obviously, seen it before. Yoras up in the air. Trying to find it. Gets in. Just floats it right underneath the crossbar. Able to find that right off the kickoff. Ball played out into the corner. Dignitas with a nice deflection to the corner. Still in a dangerous spot for him. Pushed out. The 50 comes straight out. And Ocal is going to laser that one. He's able to find it. And here are the results for the other upper quarterfinals. We have G2 beating... Optic Furia 4 1 to Carmine Phase Clan beating the club 4 2 as we're into the upper bracket Furia versus G2 Esports. G2 already one goal up card looking for the side wall. It gets saved on the, the corner of the post from Chicago, I believe. And now they're going the other way. JNAPS, is that going to be on target? Yes, it is. That's 2 0 to the NA boys. Hard on the sidewall. Goes up to the ceiling, gets the flipper set, uses it. Oh, when he blocks it off, Atomic tried to save it. No, oh, when Atomic comes down, though, blocks the Fury play from hitting it, but it's able to be scrapped in over the goal line and will be all for Fury, though, in game number one as G2 do take the victory as JNAPS applies the pressure and a couple players going for it. This ball might come straight back. Yes, he is gonna, and Card will put that away, or not Card. As a G2 player that put that away, and another one will be gifted to them. I don't really know what happened there. It seemed to be underneath. It floated from on top of the Fury at goal, and then comes down. 2 nothing. And Caddy OG is able to find that one. Cut the lead in half. So right now. All played dangerously into their own corner. Trying to come out, and they're able to beat the press. Yenes will put that on target, and no one can get back to it. From G2. That's 2 2 with only one minute remaining. Somebody's trying to find a winner. Yanis on the sidewall. You want to pass a card. Goes over one, goes over the second, goes by the third one right into the opposite corner of the goal. Just air dribble that in. G2 will be gifted another goal, it seems. I don't know, there wasn't a very long clip, but it seems that they got that ball very quickly and played a shot on target and missed it. Oh, and it's saved off the back wall, but a put back and a double commit as the defense is now scrambling from Furia. They're going the opposite way now, though card up in the air Chicago can't quite get to it oh the angle from Yanez is insane and he's able to find that as Furia get their first win of this upper semifinal trying to secure their place in the playoffs on the Sunday it happened this past weekend as G2 will get one goal Yanez flipper said doesn't have a lot of power on it KDOG on the side ball will stop it Got a, not a lot of boost. Gets able to get back to the ball though. It's pushed off to the side to Chicago. Just picked up 100 boost. And beats the last defender for now. The defense rotating back. Atomic just slightly touches it to Chicago. And that's all it needed. Just a little bump to his teammate on the back stick. Waiting for it. Played up. A lot of confusion from the area players with his, these touches that G2 are having on the tops of the back wall. And just play it underneath the defender on this back wall is trying to play some defense over there try to get the ball away but won't happen this time so now it's three nothing to g2 two men remain still and this on the side wall plays to the back wall beats the defender on the back wall and that's not what you want if you're a g2 fan with one goal going in 
Fade into Fury's corner. Card going for it. Can he get back to his own touch? He's going to be able to 50 it. Chicago and it drops down dangerously and Atomic is there. Right, it's a 4-1 game as this game looks all but wrapped up. The card up to the ceiling. Drops it down. Can he be cleared? No, it can't. It's, oh, it's saved off the goal line, but Yanis is there. And that is all 4-2 game for G2 once they took a 2-1 lead in the series. That was the beginning of game number four. JNF's to the corner. Played it. Coming back over the 18, and Caddy OG can't quite get to it. So that is 1 0 to G2. A nice touch from JNF, so put that in a dangerous position. Saved away. Card now going the other way. Can he beat the defender? Yes, he can. Goes for a demo, and he's able to find it. So we're into overtime. Game number four. G2's half. Played to Chicago, and it is not on target, and it's saved away, but played back into a dangerous place. And Chicago will put it underneath the defender, and that's 3-1 to G2. They're in game number five. Sienna's up in the air. Over one. Chicago. Oh, and he just misses it. That's a bit of a whoopsie. But it does happen every once in a while. It's one nothing to Furia on the sidewall. Gonna get back and beat the defender. Yes, he can. Chicago tried to cut it out, but he couldn't quite do it. So now it's 2 0 to Furia. Two minutes remain. Still a lot of time to get two goals for G2. It's one pl plays it on top of the back wall, and it's gonna be put in from Chicago. Make it amends for his earlier plays. JNF's in the corner. Not still the boost. He got no more boost, but Atomic will not find it. I believe it was Chicago that came out to it. I think we were watching Atomic's view. It's a minute. Goes by in overtime. Ball played on. And oh, and Card will come quickest to the ball and be able to find that goal. So we are into game number six. Three minutes remaining. Furia still need to win two to obviously advance to the playoffs. So they get one goal. Ball's pushed away on the side. 30 seconds remaining. G2 needs something here. Atomic up to the ceiling. Flipper set has more boost. Chicago just played. Oh, and it deflects off the defender. The ball's still there. And they're able to find it. Ball, four minutes on the clock. Played up above Furious Net. Played down and passed. Oh, and Chicago's able to find the hole. And FaZe Clan will take out Team Falcons as they bottle the tournament. Or they go to the lower semifinals. As that was the upper semis. So G2 and FaZe Clan will qualify through to the playoffs and we're looking at the club versus furia furia have one more chance to get into the final day as they get one goal in game number one and that will be the only one looking for lost try to clear it gets stuffed and taken over by yenes goes by one tries to pinch it through but two players saved it and a nice another double save by loss will push it off to the side not quite dealt with yet his card just goes straight down and in for the goal and furia take a two nothing lead on the series very quickly ball in the club's half kiv trying to go for it and he's able to get by and does he hit the defender oh he puts enough pressure onto him to make sure the ball goes in the net as that is Oh, almost a second goal saved off the goal line. Estromic trying to keep the pressure on, leaves it up in the air. But that might be, that was too much for a Fury player. Plays it down, back, and the shot will be on into the corner from Candy OG. Is there just finding all these random angles? It's very hard to play defense against that. Lost trying to go underneath the defender. Can't quite do it. Lost in the corner again, though, and it's deflected. Oh, and it's saved off the post, I believe. A Kev is there. Kev 1 is there for the put away. That is one win on the board for the club. Both teams from South America here facing off to see which one will be the lucky team able to go to the playoffs today. It's Fury with a 1-0 win and Paul's just <laughs> stuck in front of their own net. No one wanted to challenge it because afraid for lose the 50. They're going to fall. just going to go in their own goal right up over them as it is ones a piece in game number four. K 
Teddy OG will oh when he gets demoed the club player and that will be a goal for Furia with a minute 18 left have trying to play some defense on the side while Astromech will keep that ball in at half field another 50 goes over Yenes and loss comes through and it puts into the right side of the goal right off the beginning kickoff Yenes is able to block that tries to win another 50 gets Kev gets bumped out of the way. Card going the other way now. Flipper side over two of them is able to find it. Fury take the 3 1 lead. As we're into game number five. Right off the beginning, more action. As Estramic plays that into the corner. Coming down. A nice demo. And Loss will gladly scare that as the ball is still in the danger zone for Fury. Comes back. Card looking for a bump. Can't quite get it. Kev can only play it so far. Cadio will miss that, and now it is one on one with Astromic. Defender's coming back. He's able to flip his set over it. He's going to find that in club 2 0 up. They cannot lose another game. Must win out here in order to go to the playoffs. And a demo comes through. Cadio G. Played on the sidewall. Lost now has it. And it's missed on the sidewall and lost is there. And Astromech didn't need him off the post and in. 3 0 to the club as this game looked a little bit more better for them. Goal scoring wise, as they do give up one goal, but the club do win their second game. You need to win all of them to advance. Two minutes on the clock. Kev. Okay. The ceiling goes past card. Didn't need anything. That fancy. I beat him. 30 seconds remaining. Fury gonna have to try to push for one now. Yenis played it over. It's cut out by your lost. And that is just on target, so that's two nothing. 18 seconds remaining. Looking very risky that we might go into game number seven here. Yenis played it down. Missed on the back wall. And Caddy OG will push that in. No, he won't. Is the couple people I believe that was a triple commit <laughs> for save that. But it is enough for the club to win still, with, even with giving up that goal. Yen is trying to force his way through. Can't quite do it. Oh, and a backflip from Lost. We'll leave that for two playable to come in and a double commit. But it doesn't matter as they are able to find the goal. As long as you are able to get the goal done, doesn't matter. There's a double commit. Comes through with a couple players. Their nice teamwork. Able to get that. Sferio take a 1 0 lead. Two minutes remaining. Lost and he gets beat to the ball and puts it in the corner. As Fury with a two nothing lead now with only 40 seconds remaining. Club gonna have to find something. Played up, stopped in their half, their their side. A lost ball plays over him and Astromech is gonna find it. But Fury do win the game two one and the series four three. And Carmine Corp are able to qualify. And the other qualified teams are G2, Phase Clan, Carmine Corp, and Fury. And here are the quarterfinals for the playoffs that happened on Sunday we'll be getting into that action so don't miss it as we are closing out this season of Rocket League action thanks for tuning in